Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada, and in this video we're going to talk about the enums, one element that we have on the software that allows you to be more efficient when we program. So let's go to the presentation. So the enums, okay, basically there is a object type in the Ecostructure Machine Expert called DUT which is data unit type and inside this the uh, DUT we have the possibility to select the enum which basically is the enumeration and this enumeration allowed us to um, like uh, link or associate uh, a string text with a numerical value as you can see here in the, in the presentation okay in this case I have created this enum called training okay here you can see um, different text okay they are equal to a different values okay so let me just write over here depends so this is the enum called enum training here are the text okay and you can see which this syntax okay i link this numeric value to a different kind of text okay in my code i had these two variables over here with the data type enum training okay this enum training is the name of my enum for my enumeration so when i use this in the code i have the possibility to use the syntax as you can see over here, I'm using the enum plc underscore selected, okay, and when the value that I assign, okay, for example, in this case, okay, let's try to use this one, it's going to be much straightforward, I'm using enum plc, and I'm going to assign to this variable the value 15. So the value 15, okay, is this one so it assigned when it's assigned the value 15 you can see that this is the code okay so this is one way to understand the norms so i assign in order to for example to make a configuration i assign a constant value the number 15 in this case to a value type enum so when i automatically assign the, the constant value the variable with the num we should be able to see the text so if we analyze the code instead of trying to think oh okay i don't remember which is the value one two three four we can link to the variable a text so we can easily identify what it is so in this case when i assign the value 15 i can identify Okay, the PLC that we have selected is the M241 with Ethernet, just to have an idea. Okay, so the other use of the enum, okay, let me just delete all, is this one. We are using um, the enum directly as a variable over here. I am defining the enum dot this variable over here so the system know directly that this value is equal to 15 and when i move this it also assigned that to the enum already selected you can see over here which is this one okay so this one is also another application you can use for example instead of of selecting or having a constant value and try to remember what was the value you can use an enum so in your code you can easily see that the enum the name of your enum dot the text is a is a value in your code and then you can make your own logic trying to for example make a comparison of case if this one is equal to this one then you can use your your uh, logic in order to proceed with the code but 
that is one way to work with the nums okay just give you different uh possibilities and the last one as you can see over here just delete is this one so i'm using an integer variable okay over here this is not a num but i assign an enum constant which is this part it's not this one okay it's not any of these variables it's just assigned the enum dot one of these values so i can assign directly the constant value that i have already defined over here into the new variable so this is another way and this is good to to identify in the code because sometimes we for example if we define um one part of the machine or one of the values in order to make a condition we usually use um the numeric value okay and then you will need to add some comments or um more comments in the code just to just to remember what that value means and here if you use the enums you can easily read the code much faster because the indication of what it does is in there okay that is the one of the potential thing that we can use using the enums so we continue with this okay just delete this part over here so in order to add the enum we just need to go to the controller in the application tree right click select add objects and then we need to find in our view the dut then it just need to change the name that you have okay with the one that you want be careful on the name try to do something easy to easily understand and then here you have the possibility to select enumeration and here is something important if you don't remember the structure try to use the tech support okay the tech list support because it's very useful then add once you add this you should be able to see this list okay now if you select the text lead support you should be able to see this part on the left on the right part of the screen okay that allows you to change between the textual and the tabular so in the tabular you just need to change and add all the elements that you want okay otherwise you're going to have only this part if you don't select this okay if you don't select this part this is not going to be enabled okay so by default when you create the new the output that we have as you saw over here okay i haven't mentioned it by default is integer okay so if we need a different kind of variable type we need to do some modification that i'm going to show you later so this is the numeration okay so if we want a different kind of variable we just need to assign at the end this okay so it will change the enum family output okay so now let's try to do this or something similar okay so something similar to this in our code so i can show you how it can be done so let's open the machine expert here let me just da, 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 close all the windows all the editors perfect so in the application tree just right click add object dut enumeration text list so here um plc selected here you can add for example i remember the name that i have used uh plc underscore plc oops underscore m oof into for one see line okay the value whatever you want okay but if it was 10 now if you don't remember the structure okay here you just need to go to the tabular 
and then you add what you want okay mm -hmm. why doesn't allow me to change this da, 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 da. okay plc we should be able to allow you to see everything much faster okay equal team if i'm wrong Mm, this one is the structure see if we have an error there we go just to double check over here yeah the comma so this is how you can do it i thought that you should be able to copy this bastard no okay so it's just a simple way to hmm. okay to easily identify and change this okay or it's not so dramatic. PLC and two by one, for example, zero line equal twenty and PLC underscore and two by one ETH ETH equal twenty five. There is no need for comma because it's the last element in our code okay you can see everything over here so if we want to use this we just need to define for example variable with that name on the plc selected so um machine 01 it's gonna be the type plc selected dot uh ba, ba, ba. no it's gonna be the plc selected is the new type okay now this when it selected this machine like this okay config machine okay we can define uh, an initialization value if we want or the one the value whatever we want to select okay if we go to the tabular view okay and we select initialization and we click over here we should be able to see here how you can change the value okay for the initialization So this is allowed you to select and instead of remember the numbers which you need to select the default value okay so this is one way to do it for the initialization and the same can be applied when we just create a txt variable so i can show you uh now let's go to the pou we're going to cover that later how to use this just for example a move to gbl dot configuration machine here you can assign a number or you can define the plc and using as a constant value selected dot the value that you want okay so this is another way to do the stuff with the enums. So we have seen today how we can use the enums. We have seen that we have the tabular view that doesn't do anything, just allow you to see the code in a different way, in a simple way. If you don't know or you're confused in the amount of information that you have, this is one way to synchronize, not to synchronize, but to identify the variables that you have okay and you will need to remember all the potential that we have using the string here the enums here i show you three different examples but it's used to have it when you want to check the code in a different way okay that's the main idea so today i believe for the enums is gonna be enough okay we're gonna still cover the rest of the dut the data unit type in the following videos so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one